Do you remember a few weeks ago I uploaded a video and told you guys about the schematic diagram software that will be out and I also told you guys that I will have a lot of free one month license that I will give out to my most active followers. So finally we have the schematic diagram here and before we get into this video I can assure you that this schematic diagram it's a fact actually this is one of the best user friendly and smooth schematic diagram softwares that I have come across. Software, softwares. Well, this video will be a review of this schematic diagram, which is known as Zizen. Zizen. Yeah, I don't know. But this is a good schematic diagram. We will go into the schematic diagram and we will start using the schematic diagram from today. While I've already selected a couple of people who will get their one month free schematic diagram license, I will start giving the free schematic diagram license anytime from now on. Here we are. This is the home page of the Zizen schematic diagram software. As you can see, we are in the home page, and as you can see, everything is very simple. Just looking at the screen right here. So, in case you don't know how you can download it, just head onto your website, then use the link that you see on the screen, or check my video description. If in case you are watching this on YouTube, once you get to the to the website, you will see this is the website. It's similar to the to the whole interface itself. So when you, once you get to the website, you will have this download option right here. Just click on it and you will have a link to download. When you download the software, install the software on your PC. Just open it and it will give you uh, an option to sign up, to sign up an account. And also you will have a free trial if in case you don't have a code or maybe you want to purchase the code later. As you can see, this one year activation code, mine will expire after 363 days. That's actually cool okay great so once you open the software let me show you how everything will be everything will be like this way right? if you look at this other tab right here you will see that this schematic software has computer schematics data sheet playstation schematics smartphones tablet and watch and watch is smart watches right so we are going to for phones right because yeah i create videos about phone repair so we are just going to expand the, the phone option so when you expand it, you will see different brands. You can see Acatel, Apple, Asus, and a lot. Every I mean, every type of uh, smart mobile phone is here. And once you click on it, on any of these models, you can just expand. You can see we have everything about iPhones. We have everything about iPhones. As you can see, if you see this drop down key right here it means that the the schematic is available but if you click on any let me see if i will see any example let's go to samsung because the schematic it's not been long since it was re released so not all models will be available as you can see if you see something like this one with no drop down it means that they're still working on the model so we are just going to be using the schematic software while they are adding things like uh, guidelines we have very good PCB PCB bit mapping in which we are going to go into where we have a very good schematic diagram in which we are also going to go into shortly but as you can see we have everything here have everything is available and we have a lot of models almost every model is here because even if you go to Samsung and we scroll down you will see that it's up to Samsung S20 let's say S24 let's look at that okay great you can see we have up to samsung s24 right here we have the the normal bit mapping pcb and we have the multi-layer bit mapping i opened the multi-layer bit mapping here and if you go to the samsung a55 bit mapping you will see how good the schematic diagram tool is as you can see how i'm like navigating through the the software it's very user friendly and very smooth actually very nice so as you can see you see how the schematic is you see how the bin mapping is as you can see once you click on any option you will have these straight lines in which i really like it also shows you the connection as you can see we have this connection it shows you where the line is connected to and also it shows you the other lines by using these uh, straight lines that you see on the screen you can disable those straight lines from here so if you disable it you will have to zoom out then find the other section of the PCB to see where they are connected to. Meanwhile, if you enable them, you will just see those straight lines. And that's it. Very smooth, right? So as you can see, it's very good when you click on, if you click on any of these, 
as you can see it shows you all the line that a particular pawn is connected to and this this is actually a multi multi layer bin mapping so let me disable this and show you click on all the layers so that you will see how it is pretty this is so good shows you all the layers in the pcb as you can see i have select all layers right here you can start from layer one and it will show you the visible layers in the first layer of the pcb you have the second layer this is for advanced troubleshooting finding shots in the inner layer in which i have created a couple of videos solving shot drilling down the, the inner layers of the pcb to fix certain faults so using this you will know exactly where a particular line is passing through in the mobile PCB where you can drill down, do jumper or solve things like a short circuit. So you have from layer 1 up to 10 in this specific model. So let's go to to this one which is Pixel 3. It also has a multi-layer bin mapping. As you can see, you can select the layers, right? That's a lot of connection. Wow! So you, we have a lot of lines right here because it's around the power manager IC around the power manager IC let me confirm that okay that's actually the charging IC this should be the the VPH section of the mobile PCB yeah that's the the charging IC of this mobile phone that's why you can see a lot of uh, connections if I click you will see everything everything is actually clear so let's go to the schematic which is the real deal here so you can see how beautiful the schematic is and very smooth let let's hide this menu you can click there to hide the menu so let's just see you can see how smooth the schematic interface is right so you can see also the color i like the the black color for example if we search on let's look for a particular circuit vbat circuit and click on search okay great so once you click on search you will see that it takes you to the vbat circuit of this mobile pcb i don't know if there is any option because some people are not, are not going to prefer this uh, black this black uh, background but i don't know if that can be changed i haven't tried that because i'm okay with the black background right so if i click on vbat you will see that we have the vbat you can see we have the vbat circuit right here we have the connector have this connector where you can start troubleshooting so for those of you looking at this wondering what 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 are these lines how can you do actual troubleshooting using these lines it's actually easy to use schematic diagrams to use schematic diagrams to troubleshoot when you know how to read schematic diagrams and that's something that you can learn from my online course actually you can learn that from the basic level course and there is also a professional level course so just imagine being able to learn about schematic reading in the basic level course and there is a professional level course you can tell how good and advanced that professional level course is and you can get my courses with a huge discount right now from the link in the video description or send me a message on whatsapp using the number on the screen or check my bio if in case you are watching this on tiktok to get my courses right now with a huge discount